What is good family? I ain't gonna hold you. Let me just start the entire video by saying I'm only really disappointed in one of these rappers. And I'm pretty sure y'all know who that is. My GOAT, J. Cole, bro. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> oh my god, if you niggas don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, Drake and J. Cole have both released... I don't know what the fuck they released. And I don't even know what to call these songs or memes or trolls. I don't fucking know. But I'll start with J. Cole since he did that shit first. J. Cole released a song called Grippy, bro. And that's... As a J. Cole fan, we weren't expecting that shit. I'm gonna go ahead and say that right now, bro. Coming off the Kendrick beef, which of course this is way more important because it's coming right off directly that beef, my nigga. The beef just ended a month ago. We expected some hard shit. I expected whether he was coming to address this shit, whether he was coming on some fucking, I don't know, once an addict type flow, just addressing like, oh, I can't attack Kendrick because I think it was my brother. We grew up in tough times or some shit like that, bro. Like, I needed something. To address something, bro, or a hard-ass song, bro, you gotta realize this is coming off of fucking uh, My Delete Later, which honestly I like, bro. There's like five songs on there that are very, very, very lyric-heavy, and he murders all that shit. So I was expecting, yo, Cole about to drop some, I don't know, some hard shit, and then he's getting mean now, my nigga. He's getting mean eternally. They're de he's getting mean by the fucking Junko niggas. Dang and Ropa dancing like this and shit. Like, nigga, no way! No! Oh, you hate to fucking see it, bro. Do I think he fell off, though? No, you'd have to be a fucking idiot to think that on some real shit, my nigga. Like, niggas that are saying J. Cole can't rap anymore are genuinely fucking stupid or they're letting TikTok create their entire personality on some real shit, bro. J. Cole didn't fall the fuck off. Like I just said five seconds ago, he released an album, Mike Be Lila, that has like five tracks on there that probably are some of the best rapping he's ever done, bro. Like, that shit goes crazy. I go back and listen to probably about four or five songs and all those songs go insane, so... I can't actually say the nigga fell off. I can say I don't think he knows what he wants to do right now coming off that Kendrick beef. He knew this next verse would be vital. I think he tried to like, kind of play it off like, ah, I'll drop a goofy verse because niggas, I want to show niggas how much I really don't care about that beef. So I'm going to come on here talking about Grippy and Hippie and Stick Me. I don't know. <laughs> Ripley's like, nigga, I don't fucking know what the hell the whole mindset was. But I can't sit here and genuinely say the nigga fell off. Why the fuck would I ever do that when he just released a song two weeks before that that was actually fire as fuck? Drake! I think that nigga, I can't even judge a nigga. I ain't gonna hold you off, bro. Drake, I think it's playing into the whole persona of y'all niggas calling him goofy. Like, I don't think we would get this song if it wasn't for the whole meme about how goofy he is as a person or some real shit. Like, they've been trying to, even before the Kendrick beat, they started the whole Anita Max win shit. They've been calling Drake goofy. There was the whole Looney Tunes acting nigga. Like, he's been the goofy nigga probably for the past year. So I think this song is just a culmination of him playing into that role coming out of this beef. Like, I'm not really expecting no hard shit from him. I ain't gonna hold you at all. He held his own inside that rap beef. I'm not a part of the whole, like, TikTok new school rap niggas that just started listening to rap two weeks ago that are saying, Yo, Drake got 7 0. -oh! Like, nigga, that's obviously not fucking true. I actually had the game close uh, between the whole Kendrick and Drake shit. Like, the game was close to me until Not Like Us. Like, that, what I think is, like, blew it out the fucking water. Obviously, Kendrick won after that shit. But, honestly, like, he could have came back after Meet the Grams, in my opinion. I just think Not Like Us was too much of a fucking banger. Too much of a West Coast vibe. Like, he has the entirety of fucking California surrounding that shit. Niggas like to dance to that shit. And he called that nigga a pedophile. So, you can't really... Angle your way out of that shit, my nigga, on some real shit. Do I think niggas actually genuinely think he's a pedophile? I think 90% of niggas don't even fucking care. I ain't gonna, <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you off. But that song was just so fucking good that Drake instantaneously lost that shit. But do I think he needs to drop a hard song right now? No, I just don't. I think Drake is doing exactly what the fuck he needs to be doing. He's dropping goofy songs. He dropped a song with Sexy Red. Like, he's already shown that he's willing to step up to the plate against the fucking hardest fighter inside the entire thing it's like the thing of like if you fight the best fighter in your school but you still lose niggas still got respect for you type shit and if you don't see it that way then i don't know what the fuck to tell you j cole though i <laughs> i don't know what he's doing i haven't lost my respect for the nigga yet but i don't i don't know what the fuck he's doing at all i think he's genuinely confused on what moves to make next drake i think he's just playing into the persona that y'all niggas created for him 
I'ma go in here, drop a sexy red beat, rap on the beat that y'all niggas made for me. I'ma go on this fucking, hey there Delilah, was it like in New York City? And just fucking be goofy as hell because that's what y'all niggas expect me to be. If y'all niggas would have heard a hard verse from him, y'all would have been like, yo, why didn't, why didn't he do that during the Kendrick Lamar? Like y'all would have just, <laughs> it would have been hate regardless what he did. So I'm going to drop a few goofy songs, let niggas get all their hate out. And then in about two months or so, I'll start dropping my real shit. So niggas that are hating on me will fucking at least be away from the scene a little bit. It's too hot right now to drop a good verse and some real shit. So I'm going to drop some goofy shit, let niggas get their jokes off. Then I'll drop my real shit in a couple of months. Let me know what the fuck you niggas think about it. Are you more disappointed in Drake or J. Cole? I'm pretty sure everybody is most likely more disappointed than J. Cole. Because why wouldn't you be? Like, we were expecting some hard shit. And you came out talking about vagina, nigga. <laughs> like, I don't know what you doing, bro. I don't know what you doing. I doubt niggas are mad at Drake. Because that's just what Drake is doing, my nigga. Like, he already... Proved his own against Kendrick, even though he got his ass beat, the nigga still at least stepped up to the fucking plate and was doing good until not like us, in my opinion. Now he's just on some goofy shit. Let me know what the fuck you niggas think. I'm getting the fuck up out of here. Check out your strong friends, pray for your enemies, or just at least wish them well. And I'll see you niggas next video. Will I get mad if niggas say that they had him losing at Meet the Grams? I'm gonna make a whole video just talking about that shit. I ain't gonna hold you, my nigga. I'll try to carry a little something, talk about how I feel about each part of the fucking uh, diss, my niggas, and then I'll come out with that shit maybe either later today or tomorrow. We'll see what the fuck happens, my nigga. I'll see y'all next one. Peace!